Hi, this is Kim Hammer, pastor of Selene Baptist Church, community tall outside Benton with your devotion taken from the book of Numbers chapter 35. There's an interesting situation that's presented in chapter 35, which, which finishes up the book of Numbers. And we find that the descendants of Joseph through the tribe of Manasseh come to Moses. And it was their brother, whose five daughters had come to Moses several chapters earlier because their dad had died and there were no sons in the family for the land to be inherited to. And so the girls by the law would have been left out of their portion of the inheritance of the land that was assigned to all the tribes. And so the brother of the girl's dad comes to Moses or they come to Moses and they say, look, if the girls marry outside of the tribe, that land is gonna pass on to their spouses and it may pass on to another tribe. And it was a legitimate concern. And we find that one of the things that this presents is the idea that every day that we live, because life can be changing on a day-to-day -day basis, that there are challenges that are brought before us where we have to find solutions to our challenges and to our problems in life. And what's interesting to note is that these individuals came to Moses and they came to the leaders and they came to the heads of the families of the tribes and they presented their situation in a very diplomatic and a very organized and sincere approach to seeking a solution to this challenge. And they recognized that it was a legitimate need. And so instead of getting all emotional and bent out of shape and letting uh, you know, their anger get the best of them, they just came to Moses and said, look, we need to seek a Lord for a solution to this situation. Because otherwise, if these girls marry outside this tribe, then that land is going to transfer with them. And that's a very uh, practical uh, approach to dealing with it because they were concerned that over a period of time, if this happened, that actually the land that had been given to their tribe would shrink while others would expand. And that could be said of all the other tribes too, if it was the same thing. So it would be a constant shift of the land back and forth. And over a period of time, one tribe may actually lose their land depending on how sequences played out. We know that whenever they took the census of the people, that the land was divided fairly proportionate to the size of the tribes, and it started off at an equal and fair level. And every 50th year, we find that in chapter 35, in the year of Jubilee, that their concern was that the land would not revert back and that it would transfer out of their tribe. And so they brought all this before Moses, and they brought it before the leaders, and they brought it before all the heads of the tribes, and everyone was involved in the discussion about how to find a solution to the problem. And that's a key ingredient for a life application today, that it's important to get everybody at the table and have a discussion about how to solve the problem so that you're attacking the problem and you're not attacking the personality or the individual. So we find that they come together and Moses did what he had done before. He sought the Lord and the Lord had passed down a decree. He had passed down a rendering of how it needed to be fixed. And one of the things that the Lord said is they've got a legitimate argument. They've got a legitimate concern. Now, let me say this, as I've said before, God is not caught off guard by any of this. And it doesn't show a dumb side of God that he didn't plan better in order to address this before it happened. I think sometimes the Lord allows challenges to come into our life so that we have to develop some deep thinking skills so that we can process through the challenging times of life and not always have to be spoon fed. Part of the problem with society today is the lack of deep thinkers that can have a problem and analytically think through it in order to come to a conclusion. But yet at the end of the process or included in the process is that these individuals sought the Lord. And as with any challenges that we experience in life, while it is that I think God wants us to do some thinking for ourselves and analytically find a way through the, pro through the problem and through the challenges and develop a process in order to address it. God also wants us to consult him and ask him what he thinks about it, which is exactly what these individuals did. They went to Moses, the spiritual leader, and God delivered an answer. And as a result of it, we find that the solution was found and God rendered it. But in the process, God said, yes, they have a legitimate concern and he gave them a legitimate answer. And so we find that the commands and the regulations that the Lord gave through Moses, the last verse says, to Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across the Jericho. This was the conclusion. Now, as we go into the book of Deuteronomy, what we're gonna find is Moses is still in the picture. 
the transfer of power is still taking place between him and Joseph. And we're going to find that in the book of Deuteronomy, you got to remember that in the book of Numbers, it's been covering a 40-year period where those who listen to the negative report of the 10 spies have constantly been dying off in the wilderness. And a new generation is about to enter the promised land in the book of Deuteronomy. And one thing that God does is an overview of some of the basic laws that have been given up to this point because a new generation is going to enter into Canaan and God wanted to make sure that they remembered the laws that they were going to be governed by as they went into it. So we're going to see some duplication of some things that we've covered in the book of Numbers, but it's going to be at the 100,000 foot view, not the deep dive like was given in the book of Numbers. So as we go into the book of Deuteronomy, we're going to find that the power is going to transfer from Moses over to Joseph. There'll be a review of some of the laws and then the beginning of the experience of going into the promised land occurs. So I hope you'll come back and join us tomorrow when we start our journey in the book of Deuteronomy. Have a good day.